hey guys i'm back with a new video and it's amazing i finally figure out figured out how to use this microphone thank god that i have a tech savvy husband who helped me because i was just lost in the apps that i have to use and i didn't use it properly so now the sound's gonna be amazing i hope <laughs> This week I'm going to paint everything about flowers. Thanks to my Instagram followers, they helped me to pick this topic. And I am starting early this week. Today is Sunday. I decided to begin doing it today since I have some free time. And uh, my family members are gone from home and I can be alone for a while, which is really rare for me and special. So I'm going to paint today. I have a beautiful reference image. Let me show you this cute car. I hope you can see it. It's in focus. I found the reference image on Pinterest. I know that it's belonging to someone else, but I'm not going to sell it or anything. I'm just doing it for myself for practice. So I, th I think it's fine. I also have my candle. It's a scented candle uh, the smell is sandalwood and bergamot so it's creating a really nice atmosphere for me i'm also going to put on some music and just paint away i hope the time lapse video will be fun to watch i'm going to put some music on it and speed it up for you and i will share my thoughts after i'm done with the first piece of this week So, I have just finished the image of a little pink car and it took me almost an hour. I wasn't expecting for it to take me so long. Um, at first I was thinking like, oh my god, the car is not turning out well, you're not going to render it right. And then I just thought, come on, you're not replicating it like in exactly the same way. I'm not a realistic painter at all I never was so my car is going to be a little bit more quirky and funny and not so real and it's perfectly fine and then I got uh, to a point where I had to paint the flower and the flower wasn't looking as real as well and I thought that's fine too and the most challenging part was the background it turned out to be a little tricky because it had a lot of colors in it and it was merging with the color of the car but I decided to make it a little bit different than the one in the reference image so it uh, makes the car stand out a little more and overall I'm happy with how it, things turned out uh, I think I did a good job and I also tried to make sure there's all the more light pieces of the car and all the darker pieces of the car and all the shadows and stuff. And I think it's not bad. So I'm happy with the result. Let me know if you like it. Thanks for watching.
so I'm done with today's assignment. My froggy is ready and let's just say it's not the same as the reference. It's really different and I'm partly sad about it and also not so sad. I was ready for it. I wasn't vibing with this painting, I feel like. I wasn't uh, rendering the sketch right and then the frog wasn't turning out well and I absolutely hate how I painted the flower but I'm here to learn and it's just the practice and overall I think I did not a bad job and probably next time it will be better I hope so but I feel like for today it's okay and I'm looking forward for painting more and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this painting time lapse. See you tomorrow! This time I picked a beautiful flower reference photo and I really wanted this flower to stand out from the background so I decided to paint the main background layer thickly with dark green paint and then paint over uh, the flower with white gesso so I think I managed to make it look a bit nicer on top of it all so it's not blended with the background I had a hard time really replicating the colors that I've seen on the reference but I tried my best and mixed colors as I was going you guys so I'm done with today's painting I've painted two vases on a tray and as probably you know by now they ended up looking very different from the reference and I was constantly telling myself that I can treat this reference however I want and this time I really felt like treating it more as inspiration and not just copy paste the image on my sketchbook page and I had fun making it. I wasn't looking as much at the reference as I was looking at my own painting. It's not as detailed of course, it's not a photo, it's a painting first of all and I don't have the luxury of spending hours and hours and hours on this tiny page and it's okay for me, I'm more than happy with the result. It doesn't look as realistic, I didn't have the nerve to add the shadows or anything. I was having fun and I had a practice and I think it's a success. I'm really excited about the way it turned out. There's just one day left uh, until I finish up this video. So keep watching if you're interested, thanks. I appreciate if you would leave me a like or a comment for this video. <laughs> so I'm done with the challenge I, th I know that I look like a mess I haven't even had my coffee yet today the morning was pretty crazy my son didn't go to school his th throat is hurting and I'm not sure if he is ill or, or just a little bit sick 
um, and um, so I was painting and quite fast and I was distracted and it didn't go as I planned and of course the image as usual doesn't look like the reference but I tried my best to put uh, in all the details and replicate the colors as much as I can and I really like the version that I made and I'm happy about this week of painting it was very helpful and useful I learned a lot and it really helped me to have a steady practice and do something every day I feel like this is a good thing and I want to continue and maybe next week I will paint some crazy ugly portraits so stick with me and watch my channel if you enjoy this content thanks Thank you.